welcome to Top 5. I'm your host, Callie Smith. On today's episode, we'll show you the top five ways to give back this holiday season. First up, let's head to Santa's Anonymous to learn how donating used toys can make the holidays magical for underprivileged kids. Santa's Anonymous was started in Vernon in 1989 and the idea of Santa's Anonymous is to be able to provide gifts for children 0 to 12 years old and we cover the greater North Okanagan region including Falkland. Basically when toys come in we check them over to make sure there's no cracks, breaks, uh, make sure the batteries and them are workable and uh, if not we try and fix them up if we can if not then some of them do get tossed out right now we're working on a bike that somebody has donated you know that you're making a difference in the community and it's just you can't stress enough just how important that is and it really makes you it makes your day when you can help somebody else when they decided they if gifts for christmas they also realized children are in need at birthdays as well so we're available for birthdays all year round. Next, we head to Kelowna to see how In From The Cold supports homeless people and others in need. In From The Cold is predominantly an emergency shelter here in Kelowna, where we have um, capacity for 35 men and women Predominantly men, but uh, we do accept couples and transgender and we are a low barrier shelter, which means that typically we can take clients who are not able to go anywhere else. So our guests are often um, red zoned, so they're unable to access downtown. Um, they are very much immersed in their addiction still, so we can help them um, be safe and warm. We try and have a, uh, as close as we can a family atmosphere. So uh, when our guests arrive, um, they are assigned a bed if they don't have one from the previous night. And we provide a hot meal. And wherever possible, we make sure that that meal is served to them and they sit at the table as any family member would. Our guests are coping with the elements, obviously. So any warm clothing, um, adult clothing, especially winter clothing, toques, scarves, mitts, long underwear is always very popular. And so are the hand warmers or feet warmers. Anything that can help them keep warm and keep, keep the elements out. When we have our guests arrive at 7 p.m., they've been outside all day. So we get through a lot of hot chocolate and coffee and so on. So any donations like that would certainly help. Um, some of our volunteers are super and they provide meals uh, for our shelter guests and as well as serving the meals. People who would like to volunteer can sign up online and uh, sign up for as many or as few shifts as they want. It's not a commitment that they have to have for so many weeks or for one day throughout the season. They can sign up for one shift or they could sign up for hundreds of shifts. The Upper Room Mission has been feeding, clothing, and supporting Vernon's most vulnerable people since 1980. Here's how you can help the mission continue to make a difference. The Upper Room Mission is a nonprofit emergency day shelter that we have here in Vernon. Our main focus is food services. We serve breakfast at 9, lunch is at noon, and supper is at 4 o'clock. So not only does the mission help the homeless in our community, we also serve the disabled, many seniors, and of course the working poor. We don't receive government funding, we don't have government contracts, and so donations from the community are essential to our services. A lot of the folks that we do serve, uh, they deal with mental health, brain injuries, uh, fetal alcohol syndrome, and usually it's a combination of those things. Uh, so the cases that we work with can be quite complex at times. We do a, a bottle ministry and from 9 to 5, um, Monday to Saturday, anybody can come by and drop off bottles and that money goes towards feeding those children. And not everybody is able to afford healthy food for their kids unfortunately and with our economy it's becoming a larger and larger struggle for a lot of families in our community. The Vernon Women's Transition House is a safe place for women and children fleeing abuse. This is number four on our top five ways to give back. 
The Vernon Women's Transition House really provides a continuum of services and supports for women who are fleeing or have experienced abuse. With our support, women can actually help build a foundation for them to build healthy and successful lives for themselves and their children. Our mandate is to serve uh, young women between the ages of 15 and 25. Um, at times we have women that are older than that, up to 30. When they come into the program, we're looking for girls that are, are motivated to work on the things that have been issues for them and barriers. And um, we connect daily with them on those things and uh, hope that they can move forward. They're able to have a, a period of time where they can really focus on what they want to do with the rest of their lives. So they, they, could be, they could be working, they could be going back to school, they could be just trying to you know, uh, develop their parenting skills. We also have a number of programs, uh, Stopping the Violence Counseling, Children Who Witness Abuse Counseling, as well as outreach workers. We also help them access other resources that they need in the community that, may, that we may not have, but it's really focused on, on helping women who have experienced abuse. We hear quite often from girls that have been here years past and um, have maybe just left that uh, they really value their time here and that it was a really important piece of their moving on and healing. Um, so that means a lot. A lot of these girls haven't had important adults in their life that, um, were, that, that they could look up to or depend on and uh, so we are, form part of that for them. Bill's Place is a residential addiction treatment center in Vernon for men and most recently women. Let's take a look at some ways you can help. Bill's Place is owned and operated by the John Howard Society, North Okanagan Kootenai region. And uh, Bill's Place is an abstinence-based drug and alcohol treatment program. We've got a really, uh, really good success rate. We're seeing overdoses like we've never seen before. And so having a place like this, a uh, safe environment for guys who are desperate to get clean and sober, places like this are incredibly important. If it wasn't for the support from the local community uh, and with the help and support of the local service providers, there's no way that we could do what we do. I see guys going back to work. I see guys going back to school. It's beautiful to watch and see the changes in these guys' lives. That's it for this episode of Top 5. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.